Okay, welcome to computer science class. Today we are going to talk about topic one, system fundamentals. And the, the sub topic is systems in organizations. Today we are going to cover the 1.1.1 and the 1.1.2. You can check out on your get book. Uh, system and, uh, statement first identify the context for the which a new system is planned. And second, describe the need for change management. Objectives about relevant facts and concepts, relevant design methods and uh, technique, terminology to communicate effectively, uh, appropriate communication methods to present information. Related topic will be higher level topic seven, control, centralized control systems and uh, distributed systems. Outline this two topic, the extent and the limitations of a new system should be appreciated. The organizational issue related to the installation of new systems such as user roles and uh, underlying the technologies. Students should understand that there are a number of facts that need to be managed to ensure change is successful. Social and ethical issue is about the way that the change is managed can have significant effects on employers and employees. Okay, let's start with a short video clip first. This video clip is about the system development life cycle. How can we make our new system successful? So look at this picture. This is the system development life cycle that we will use in developing a new software, a new system. There are five stages. Okay. If you do a Google search on the internet, you, maybe you can see the different stage, but actually they are similar about the beginning and the ending. So let's go to the, this slide. Participants in system development, it involves a lot of different people, different roles. Right? Uh, system stakeholders, individuals who will benefit from system development project, either directly or uh, through the organization he or she represents. And the uh, users, individuals who will be interacting with the system on a regular basis, uh, our managers, uh, people most capable of uh, initiating and maintaining change. Uh, project leader, uh, individual in charge of the system development effort. Uh, effort, effort, effort. The system analyze, uh, an system analysis uh, specialized in listing and uh, design systems and also the software engineers and uh, 
our computer programmer uh, res responsible for modifying our creating programs to satisfy user requirements. Uh, and also computer system management uh, includes the uh, Sheriff Information Officer, CIO, and other uh, technician. So why start a new, sim, uh, new systems development project? A problem with existing system uh, desires to explore uh, new opportunities, increasing com competition, uh, desire to make more effective use of information, and organizational growth matter our uh, accusation, change in market our uh, external environment. So planning, so how can we do the planning? Planning include creative user analysis, uh, investigating a uh, new approach to exciting problems. Uh, critical analysis, being skeptical and uh, doubtful. Questioning whether or not the current computer system is still effective and uh, efficient. A system development process is being with uh, gathering information on users' needs. So system development planning is a translation of organized our individual goals into systems development in initiatives. So look at this picture, you can see it's a very good planning. So in planning, we will do the uh, establishing objecti uh, objectives for system development, like uh, performance obje uh, objectives, uh, quality or uh, usefulness of the output, the quality or usefulness of the format of the output, the speed at which the output is generated, the uh, cost object uh, objectives, the development cost, uh, cost related, uh, related to the uniqueness of the system application and fixed uh, investments in hardware and related requirement, ongoing operating cost of the system. So in computer system, we need the case tools. Case stand for computer added software engineering. The case tool Automate many system development tasks, allow more than one person to work on the same system at the same time where um, multi user interface, uh, which uh, you can integrate the work of all team members. Flow chart, uh, that's a very important part in SDLC, system development life cycle. And, uh, for these symbols, you have to remember all of them. So in your final examination, the ID question may be ask you to generate a flow chart. So you can see here some symbols for the document or report, uh, precise input, output, and also direction of the flow. So chart the path from the starting point to the final destination. It can display the various amounts of um, information and uh, amount of the details. When developing a system, general flow chart describes the overall purpose and the structure of the system. Decision table can be used as an alternative to our in conjunction with the flow chart. In general, a decision table displays the uh, various conditions that could uh, exist and the uh, different actions that the computer should uh, take. Project manage management tools the purpose is to plan, monitor, and control uh, the necessary development activities. So, in this tool, we have the PERT, P-E-R-T, Program Evaluation and Review Technique. It's a 
create a three time extend maze for an active, uh, activity. The shortest possible time, the most likely time, the longest possible time, and also the Gantt charm. Uh, grid that lists activities and data length. Prototyping. Prototype is the creation of a preliminary model or a version of a major subsystem or a small scale down version of the entire system. Interactive approach to system development. Interactive means that each phase of the system development life cycle is repeated several times. Systems investigation, the overall purpose is determine whether the objectives of the existing system satisfy the goals of the organization. So you can just ask some questions like this, what primary problem made a new or enhanced the system solve? What opportunities make a new or enhanced system provide? Or what new hardware, software, database, telecommunications, personal or produce will improve, uh, will improve the existing systems or are required for a new system? What are the potential costs? Or what are the associated risks? So before planning our new system, we have to do a feasibility study. In feasibility analysis, it's about the five parts. First is the technique. Uh, Technical feasibility is concerned with whether or not hardware, software can be uh, curated or developed, uh, developed to solve the problem. Economic feasibility is a determines if the project makes financial sense. Uh, legal feasibility is a determines whether laws or regulations may prevent or limit a system development development project. Uh, op, op, um, operational feasibility is measured of whether or not the project can be put into action or operation. Uh, schedule feasibility is determined if the project can be completed in a reasonable amount of time. So all these uh, five parts you have to remember it. The IP question maybe looks like this. Uh, please state the five uh, different parts in feasibility study. So the answer will be the technical feasibility and the economic feasibility, legal uh, feasibility, operational feasibility, and the schedule of feasibility. So overall, emphasis to gather the data on the existing system and the requirement for the new system to consider the alternative solution to the problem and the feasibility of the solutions. So the general analysis considerations the involve the three different part collecting uh, appropriate data, analyzing the data, determine the new system requirement and the project uh, priorities. For the uh, collecting data, the purpose is to seek the additional information about the problems uh, identified during the system investigation and the technique about is um, Unstruct the interviews, the directly observation output from uh, existing system uh, questionnaires or other data collection methods uh, that you can use. So that's all for today's class. And today, uh, today's task is do a research and uh, write a one-page report about the 
significant effects on employers and employees.